It's hard to find a single building that hasn't been blown to bits in the last Libyan-backed attack here three years ago. Obviously, you have to accept that uh, telling stories means sometimes telling dangerous stories. Gaddafi has been described on occasion as the world's most dangerous man. You take calculated risks to tell important stories. Colonel, you've been described as many things, a terrorist, as a butcher, I think, <laughs> as a gangster and as a madman. Why are you described in all those ways? Asking hard questions of a tyrant is very difficult because you do have to make a calculation. You want information from this person. You want to prese present him uh, probably with some unpalatable facts, but nonetheless, you, you want some answers. So that's a balancing act of how, how to achieve that. But of course, you feel as a reporter that you have to put on the record the criticisms that uh, are out there of whichever despot, tyrant, uh, whoever you're, you're interviewing. So it's awkward. For 27 years, Yasser Arafat has been at war. In the case of Yasser Arafat in Tunis, it became awkward in the extreme because having asked what I thought were perfectly legitimate questions uh, of the threat to his leadership, uh, he was enraged. Not only did Yasser Arafat walk out on our interview, he commanded his heavily armed guards to seize all our film and audio tape, that is, any record of the interview that had just taken place. When we tried to stop them, they told us they were acting on presidential orders and proceeded to tear the film from our cameras, destroying everything. So we left that uh, villa in Tunis that we'd done the interview empty-handed and we were very, very distraught, obviously. Uh, I think Arafat's coterie decided that it would be unwise for the news to get around that this, this had taken place and so we were invited back eventually to do a second interview. As I told you, I haven't stick uh, uh, magic, uh, a magic... A magic wand. wand. I haven't. What you're seeing is an interview conducted under threat. Would you agree that the suggestion Gaza being that if we antagonised Arafat again, it would be more than our film that would be damaged this time around. Now that is more than awkward because once again we were surrounded by armed guards, pointing guns, and it was clear that he wouldn't countenance any nasty questions. So that was very awkward because I must say I did feel very responsible for the well-being of uh, not, not just my own well-being, but obviously my team. So that again was treading a halfway, uh, a sort of a, was a halfway house, if you like, asking some questions that he didn't like, that's true but it was a more even keel interview and it was a compromise that I think on that occasion I, I had to make, we had to make. Mr Arafat, there are signs of violent opposition to you in some areas in, in the territories. What do you, how do you feel about it? What do you say we to We have it? to expect that. As I told you, you have a, a magic uh, wood. Wood. Mm. Uh, so we have uh, to expect, uh, but uh, in the same time, we are looking that we will be able to control all of it. In the case of the Arafat story, I think we did our best to tell the story of the story. So we were able to tell, tell the world, if you like, that that event took place, that we were prevented from doing our job, that the interview that we had recorded was disallowed, ripped out of cameras. I think that's important, that, that that tells you something. And I think we did a, a fair enough job of telling the story of telling the story. And the interview that um, that we put to air, I think had elements in it that, that were also, you know, that, that gave people a sense of who he was and the pressure he was up against and uh, and, and the type of autocrat that, that, that he was. I, I think it was still um, a story worth putting to air. Hello, I'm Alison Langdon. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.